Hey everybody, this is example number five for structural dynamics covering the response to harmonic excitation. The problem statement that we have is we're asked to calculate the resonant amplitude and the maximum amplitude of steady state vibration for a structure with the following features. The weight of the structure is equal to 1,000 pounds, the stiffness is equal to 800 pounds per inch, and the damping coefficient is equal to five pounds second per inch and it's excited by a harmonic force of amplitude 500 pounds. FO is equal to 500 pounds. Before we proceed with the solution, I just want to let you guys know that this example is brought to you by Bentley. And Bentley Systems is a software development company that supports the professional needs of engineers, designers, planners, and contractors responsible for creating and managing infrastructure. Bentley has tailored software applications for design, modeling, and analysis of buildings, structures, bridges, plants, and more. I have used Bentley's software and I can say that the software was very easy to use and the support that came with it was impeccable. Whenever I needed help, the Bentley team was there for me. And here's their website, it's Bentley.com. There's a link to Bentley.com and some of their YouTube channels within the description part of this video. So if you're a student and want to get familiar with the software and get a leg up over your colleagues during your job search, Academic licensing is available through Bentley. And if you're a practicing engineer and you want to sharpen up your skills, they have a bunch of videos and webinars on their website as well as their various YouTube channels. So please check them out. And now coming back to our dynamics problem, the first thing we're going to do is calculate the mass of this structure. And that's simply equal to the weight divided by the gravitational acceleration. So the mass is equal to 2.588 pounds second squared per inch. Next, we're going to calculate the circular natural frequency, and that's equal to the square root of the stiffness divided by the mass. So the stiffness is 800 pounds per inch. So our circular natural frequency is equal to 17.58 radians per second. After this, we're going to calculate the critical damping constant, C sub C. And C sub C is equal to 2 times mass times the circular natural frequency. So our critical damping constant is equal to 90.994 pounds second per inch. Now we're going to calculate the damping factor. We call it zeta. And zeta is equal to the damping coefficient divided by the critical damping constant. Damping coefficient we were given in the problem as 5. And the critical damping constant we just calculated is 90.944. So zeta, the damping factor, is equal to 0.055. After calculating the, calculating the damping factor, we're going to calculate now the equivalent static deflection. And the reason for doing that is going to be more apparent after this step. So the equivalent static deflection is equal to the, the amplitude of the harmonic force, F sub O, divided by the stiffness. So 500 pounds divided by 800 pounds per inch, and that's 0.625 inches. Now that we've calculated the equivalent static deflection, we can calculate the displacement amplitude at resonance and also the maximum am uh, displacement amplitude. But first, let's consider the displacement amplitude at resonance. And that's equal to the dynamic magnification factor at resonance times the equivalent static deflection. That's why we just calculated that the step before. So this DMF, the dynamic magnification factor at resonance, so the dynamic magnification factor, the regular formula for this, it's equal to it's equal to one divided by the square root of one minus r squared squared plus two times zeta times r squared. So if you see in this regular equation of the DMF. It, it requires us to know the frequency ratio r, but in the problem statement we weren't given r. So, so what happens is there's a special, there's a special form of the DMF, the dynamic magnification factor, that has been calculated like an equation at, at resonance condition, in which you don't need to know the value of r. All you need to know is zeta. And I'm not going to go and derive it in this, in this video, but I'll just tell you that the, the dynamic magnification factor of resonance, simply put, is equal to 1 divided by 2 times zeta. 
And so it's so our displacement amplitude is equal to XO divided by 2 zeta. And so we get our displacement amplitude is equal to 5.68 inches. And lastly, we're going to calculate the maximum displacement amplitude. So this is not just at resonance, but overall maximum displacement amplitude. And it's, we're going to take a similar approach. It's equal to the dynamic magnification factor, max, times the equivalent static deflection, x sub o. And so this DMF max, again, we, we're not going to use the regular equation of the dynamic magnification factor because we don't, we, can't, we don't know r. And the reason we don't know r is because we don't know the excitation frequency, the frequency of the harmonic force. So, so there's a special way that this equation for the dynamic magnification factor, the maximum, is obtained. And again, I won't, uh, uh, I won't derive it in here, but it's equal to 1 divided by one divided by 2 times zeta times the square root of 1 minus 2 zeta squared. This is our dmf max. And then times x sub o. So we just plug in the numbers, and we get that the maximum displacement amplitude is equal to 5.70 inches. And so this is the end of this example. Please subscribe to the channel, check out the Facebook page, and like it, facebook.com slash engineeringexamples. And please also visit the website at engineeringexamples.net. Thanks.